David Bowie, Alan Rickman, Harper Lee, John English, Ronnie Corbett, Prince, Muhammad Ali, Anton Yelchin, Max Walker, Arnold Palmer, Kenny Baker, Gene Wilder, Alexis Arquette, Pete Burns, Florence Henderson, Leonard Cohen, Andrew Zachs, Zaza Gabor, Rick Parfit, George Michael, Debbie Reynolds, Carrie Fisher. 2016 sucked. I mean, there's some okay bits, sure. We flipped bottles, we dabbed, and posed as mannequins because apparently those are things now. We explored the world with Pokemon Go and we finally got the second half of Lee novel. There was a Finding Nemo sequel, only took of 13 years, and a Deadpool movie, and Marvel gave us Benedict Cumberbatch in an awesome flying cape. Adam Young dropped 12 albums in 2016, and a year after we felt an awakening in the Force, we watched Rogue One's quest for a new hope. Oh, and Broadway gave us Hamilton. We are not throwing away our shot. But then came the bad stuff. Vime was murdered by Twitter, a gator ate people at Disney, and the world lost its mind over a dead gorilla named Harambe. There were so many bombings and shootings, it's almost scary to be in public anymore. There was that whole Kimye Swift feud thing, and Hiddle Swift. I mean, didn't that remind you of something else? Just a bit? There were police violence reports, and there were clowns. There were clowns everywhere. And Trump. Sorry, America, it was nice knowing you. But hey, I can't complain. Here in Australia, our leadership positions are basically the same as the Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. It never lasts all that much longer than a year. So, here's to 2017. May it be a year of survival, a year of safety, a year of reconstruction, a year of hope. May it be the year we realise that people are different, and that's okay. May it be the year that the grey skies get out of the way and the sun finally does shine brighter than Doris Day. May we realise that the love we had is what's kept us going this far, and maybe it's enough to take us a little bit further. Because love is what holds the world together, and like it or not, none of us would still be around without it. Because love is 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 love cannot be killed or swept aside. So fill the world with music, love and pride. Because from this moment out, history has its eyes on us. Our every move, our every minute, every second, our words of wisdom, our actions of recovery from this point onwards are the stuff that our children and their children and their children are going to hear about for generations to come. The world is watching us. And yes, 2016 was a crap fest. Yes, it took everything away from us. Our dignity, our gorillas, our heroes. But that's okay, because now we have nothing left to lose. So, here's to 2017. Let's make this one count.